Meet Dr. Charity Oyeji, a hematologist and researcher who is working on improving care for patients living with sickle cell disease. But on June 16th, 2025, she received a notice that her five-year NIH grant of $750,000 was being terminated. That was despite scientific evidence and early proven results that her work was making a huge difference for people living with sickle cell disease. The termination notice said that research with equity was harmful and had low returns on investment. Those words weren't just inaccurate, but disrespectful. Her project, SickleFit, was the first and only exercise program designed for older patients with sickle cell disease. It was improving mobility, reducing hospital visits, and cutting healthcare costs. They were meant to bring to the forefront the needs of marginalized communities that have been ignored for too long, but now they're gone. And it's not just her. In March, the Trump administration began cutting NIH grants dedicated towards maternal mortality, racial disparities, health equity, and more. Sometimes by just scanning for words like woman, black, or race. And early career scientists, especially those from underrepresented backgrounds, are being pushed out of research altogether. In August, the Supreme Court in a 5-4 decision allowed the Trump administration to continue making these cuts to federal grants. We are watching science be silenced, not because it's ineffective, but because it dares to center marginalized voices. This isn't just a funding issue, it's a justice issue, and the cost of doing nothing will be measured in lives.